Namaste everyone. Today I'm going to do an introductory episode on feng shui, on the basics. Because I want people to have an idea of what feng shui is. Because a lot of people have not heard of the art of feng shui, the art of placement to attract certain things and certain energies. And I think a lot of people should know it and, and a lot of people should try and, you know, and incorporate it into to their lives so their lives could be a little bit more smoother. I often see a lot of people who have a lot of clutter in their life and it's usually because it reflects their surroundings because they have a lot of clutter in their living space. And your living space is a reflection of your life. An organized living space, then you're gonna have an organized life. But if you have a messy living space, then your life is gonna be all over the place. You're not gonna have any direction and you're going to be focused on all sorts of places, okay? And you're not gonna be focused on one thing and you're probably not gonna get a lot of things done. You're probably gonna have a lot of distractions. Now I'm going to go over a living space to give you an example of how to apply feng shui, the do's and the don'ts. So let's get started. Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss feng shui and how to use it and we're here entering my uncle's house and I gotta say thank you for him lending me his pad to give an example of, of good and bad feng shui. Here we have the floor and he recently did the floor and it's wooden and it gives like a very warm um, energy to the house. He's also um, recently decorated in a, with a Japanese decor. So he's got some pretty new ornaments here. Now um, I have to say that I'm not going to cover the flying stars of, of this year because um, I just want to keep this video simple and just uh, you know an introductory video for feng shui, just something you know basic. So um, it doesn't matter how big or small your house is, as long as it has the basic feng shui principles, the energy should be flowing right. Now my uncle has very strong red tones around the house, but it's overall warm, and he's a single man and um, living here. It shouldn't red shouldn't really be a problem, you know. But um, red does give a lot of energy, and um, he did put uh, additional mirrors around to you know amplify the space. So if you live in a smaller space, you might want to put mirrors. Now it's always good to add uh, um, a, sit a seating place for people to sit, so um, you could have more guests. Okay, and you could have people, so you could have company coming over. Okay, if you're a single man, you might want to add you know a nice cozy sofa because that's what's going to bring you know your mate. Um, here he has in the kitchen, his, his kitchen is getting done at the moment, it's a little messy. Um, but his kitchen, he does plan to put a divider in the kitchen because he doesn't want that energy from the kitchen to go into the living room. Now this is bedroom, I couldn't turn on the whole entire lights, so I had to turn on the night lights, the table lights. And this is his room, right now he's also doing his room and he's in the process of remodeling it. So, um, But here's an overall idea. However, um, there is some bad feng shui here because his, uh, his bed is aligned to the bathroom door, okay? And in feng shui, you shouldn't have the bed aligned to any door because all the shi when you're sleeping goes to that door and especially the toilet because in the toilet, um, the energy gets flushed down, okay? Also, having mirrors in the room are not good, okay? Because um, what it signifies is other people getting into your personal, you know, private business because the bedroom has to do with, you know, privacy. So if you have mirrors in your room, you're going to have a lot of issues with people butting in into your, you know, personal life. And I've had that experience. Also, always keep the lid of the toilet down, you know, so that she won't go and get flushed out because uh, water signifies money. And so if you have your toilet open all the time, it signifies your money is just getting flushed down. Having a water feature in the door is great because it brings good fortune. Like I said, water signifies so in, in Asia, in the Asian culture. So when you have water fountain right in the door, it signifies that, you know, that money's coming in, it's going to be flowing in. So I do know that when you have your furniture in the right place, it does bring a certain energy. Okay, so we saw my uncle's living space and um, I wanted to add, which I did in the video, but I wanted to add that he has a two to one ratio of windows and door. Okay, so he has two windows in his, in his bedroom and he has only one door and the she does not, you know, come out excessively. Although the she does go to his, to his bathroom, okay, and might have to put a cure in the bathroom, probably a mirror. But again, the mirror goes against the, the bedroom rules of not having mirrors in, in the bedroom because the mirror is the water element, okay? And the water element does not go in the room because the bedroom is ruled by the earth element. It has to be grounded. Um, I'm going to do more videos on feng shui. This is very interesting and I'm going to get a little bit more deeper into it and, and this feng shui could get very complex. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Namaste. Thank you.